Hey guys, happy Halloween. And uh, we got another retro training video for you. Mm -hmm. This one is a little near and dear to our hearts because it's coming from the uh, first public, I guess, documentary, first uh, media made public about SEAL Team. It came out in 1969, though I think the footage was filmed probably in 68 or even before that mm -hmm. based on what they're wearing and carrying, but uh, enough on that. Anyway, we um, wanted to make a quick video about the Point Man course. And both Coach and I, when we went through training, we were taught instinctive fire. They would set up these point man courses for us in uh, channelized areas where it was hard to do anything unsafe. Mm -hmm. But basically, when we were taught, I think it was more from the shoulder instinctive fire. Yeah. But back in the day, as you can see in the footage, they were shooting from the hip. I mean, they were not bringing the gun up, you know, kind of like what we've seen in previous videos. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to give it a shot. I, I could have sworn I'd done it from the hip as well. Some training out of Nyland, I think at SQT, they put us down in those wadis, Maybe. those runoffs. I could have sworn it was a long time ago, about 20 years. I, it was demonstrated on. that the Vietnam vets that were that taught me, yeah. the buzz instructors, they they showed that, but like, yeah, now we're, we're, we go to the shoulder. The, the deal with going from the hip is in a jungle, you're so close, there's no time to bring it up. You're just patrolling along, and you, we're talking you know, uh, distances in feet, not yards. So mm -hmm. kind of hard to miss, just you know, instinctive fire, pointing that thumb and squeezing the trigger. Cool, so you know, it's Halloween and uh, truth be told, it's not the first time I dressed up as a Navy SEAL for Halloween. <laughs> Last couple of years that I did the trigger treating gig, um, I think I just got lazy and just, I already had a bunch of- uh, How old were you then? Oh, you know, eight, nine, 10, <laughs> you know, but- uh, and anyway, yeah, it's been a while. In fact, this hat I actually got in the 90s, why it doesn't fit too well. And I'm pretty sure I used it for this uh, very, very purpose. Yeah. And you know? uh, I wore this uniform as a uniform to work for 16 years. And, uh, and now it's just cosplaying. Yep, guess. now we're cosplaying. <laughs> Hey guys, before we get into it, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, the Home Security Superstore. There are a ton of scenarios and what ifs when it comes to self-defense. Petty arguments, street fights, road rage incidents, you know, most of that is not going to warrant the use of deadly force. You know, now if you show or go for your weapon, that, that can and will escalate things. But this doesn't mean you can't or shouldn't do anything to defend yourself. There are gonna be scenarios where a less than lethal option is the right one. Having those other options, be it pepper spray, stun guns, things like that, you're gonna find that on the Home Security Superstore. You know, the Home Security Superstore is basically a one-stop shop for all these non-lethal options. Go ahead and check them out in the description below. We're sure you'll find some useful tools to add to your toolbox. All right guys, so we're on the range and we're gonna give this whole uh, from the hip instinctive fire thing a shot. I know I have done it, you know, like way, way, way back, but never like during serious training. It was always uh, just kind of yeah. fam, trying stuff out. Um, but, you know, we tried to recreate it as best we could. We've got the equipment about the same. Obviously in the video, they're not wearing jeans because the Navy probably didn't want them because <laughs> it was an official freaking official. document, documentary or whatever. But uh, back then they were rocking jeans because in that environment, cami pants were just ripping left and right. Mm -hmm. So went ahead and went with that a little artistic liberty. But uh, oh, and in place of face oh. paint, we're gonna be wearing eye and ear pro because they didn't wear eye and ear pro back then, but they did have a lot of eye and ear injuries. So, you know, six in one hand, half dozen in the other. What? Yeah, exactly. What was that? <laughs> I can't hear myself, you know? All right. All right. So, so technique. Technique. Square Patrolling up. along. Right. You know? Still squaring up. The guy, up you know, the, the guy's basically just kind of walking like this, which is, all right, whatever, you know, just kind of seems like they're walking around and then, you know, it's from the hip. Tucked in, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, you see, I mean, look, you know, you're pretty much squared off to the target, mm -hmm. weights forward. Yeah, I mean, just, uh, you know, it, one thing that they taught us was point your thumb. Point your thumb. Point your thumb, because that'll right. help you point at the, the threat. Okay. Right. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm just kind of walking along. Do a quick uh, 
Just kind of whoop to do. And threat. And Charlie. <laughs> Terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Black pajamas. Kind of pointing the thumb, giving it some shots. I think that's about it. Yeah. What about the stance? Keep you know, that, keep that weight forward. Keep that weight forward. You're having a tendency to, to, to lean back a little bit. Okay. So yeah, there you go. I mean, if you're shooting low, just bring it up a little bit. Chances are you're going to shoot high yeah. doing this anyway, so you got to try to think so about shooting low. All right. Load her up, see what happens. Only one way to find Only out. Only one way to find out. Alrighty. All right. I'm going to let you call your own threat. Yeah, so we're just kind of moving along. You just kind of see one. A little high on that first one. A little high on the first one. A little high on that first one. This, this is happens. about the same that he was shooting. Yeah, hold a little bit low. Try for a little bit farther. All right. I'll kind of focus it on the belt line, see what happens. Whoa, Charlie! Killed him. He's down. Right. He's down. All right, guys, we have a uh, point man course set up. There are pumpkins out there that need to die because that's what we do. We, we massacre and, you know, mutilate pumpkins on Halloween. It's Death just, to the big gourds. Yeah. So uh, let's get to it. place of booby traps, I'm looking for snakes. All right, guys, so that was the uh, the point man course, kind of our retro shooting style, the instinctive fire. I think everybody has a point shooting instinctive fire kind of method. But this one, back in those days, you know, they just kept it down at the hip. That's how the training went. When we were going through training, I actually brought, this is my buds and my SQT um, manuals I dug up just to make sure I wasn't uh, hallucinating. <laughs> and in both the buds is August 2000. This was December 2002. And um, I went through in 2004, and uh, it's all in here, for the most part. They even bring up uh, the how the importance of not skylarking ah, while instinctively firing. That's important. And I had not heard that term in about 20 years, but skylarking <laughs> basically means like screwing around, yeah, looking around, around. Like, yeah. messing around, just kind of doing what attention. I normally do. <laughs> so it's almost like they knew I was coming. You know, this was written years <laughs> before I came into the community. So you know, yeah. anyway. But well, uh, you did pretty good. I mean, you're, you're hitting, yeah. you're making your hits mostly from from the hip. I mean, yeah. Some of the the pumpkin placements where they were like lodged in, it was hard to tell whether or not I was hitting them. I was seeing a lot of dirt and stuff kicking around, but they uh, they definitely were. And and some of the pumpkins that had already been clipped, maybe with a pistol round, they weren't full of water anymore. Yeah. So you didn't get that kind of explosion effect. But um, yeah, all in all, it does work. Um, haven't spent a whole lot of time on this. We're just kind of messing around with it today. But it brings back memories. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. They used to set these up for us, uh, you know, so as you walk down the, the trail, you just have a, a you know, green silhouette target that would be sitting out. And as you came around a corner, there it'd be. Uh, they didn't get all fancy with the pop-ups and, you know, electronic stuff. It was just straight up, you know, as you saw it, you shot it, and then you kept going. We did it with, uh, with rifles and shotguns. 
and uh, it was you know, called a donga course, some guys call it, uh, or a point man course. Yeah, I heard to it referred to always as a point man course. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, you just kind of meandered through a dry creek bed, something similar to this, so you couldn't get lost or hurt anybody but yourself. And uh, you just kind of take those turns and engage as, uh, yeah, as when you targets present them. themselves. Yeah. And seeing as it's Halloween, you know, you can't kill, maim, dismember, and terrify enough pumpkins. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of was really the, my whole idea. I wanted to dress up. I haven't dressed up in a while. I used to dress up in the modern stuff, but that wasn't really dressing up. I had to wear that stuff. It was, it was called work. Yeah, it was called work. But now I'm back to LARPing, cosplaying, trick-or-treating. Yeah. We're all retired guys now, so. Yeah. Pff, no, this is the first time I got to deal with a real gun. Ah, yeah. Yes. I can't go, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. <laughs> but anyway, guys, happy Halloween. Thanks for being here. And, uh, you know, I hope you learned something from this uh, over 50-year-old, or even probably more than that technique. But oh, yeah. the video we... Uh, we're referencing did uh, premiere in 1969. So, anyway, it's the Dora Coach Tackle Live. Out.